Hi, I'm Jennifer with Resilient Life Therapy with a lot of great things to help your life go better. So, is it true that anxiety is worse in the morning? If you struggle with anxiety, have you ever had that experience of waking up and morning anxiety is just wicked? Have you kind of noticed that and have you ever wondered about that or thought like, is is anxiety really worse in the morning? And the answer is yes. Anxiety can definitely be worse in the morning. Why the heck is that? Why do I have to start my day with raging anxiety? Well, here's the thing that they found is that cortisol levels, cortisol is the stress hormone um, for whatever reasons that a biologist would be far better to answer than me, um, cortisol levels can be at their highest in the morning. So if you're struggling with anxiety, there is a physiological reason why your anxiety is worse in the morning and so wicked in the morning. All right. So there's that physiological reason, but I think also for people with anxiety, what they find is that there's something about having the day looming in front of you. Either you don't have anything to do, and so that feels very anxiety provoking, or you know, you're know you on the front end of feeling like, oh my gosh, there is so much that I'm gonna have to deal with today either emotionally or actually logistically, and that feels overwhelming. So morning time can be pretty fraught, you guys. All right, so what do you do about this? Um, it's a terrible way to start the day, right? Well, number one, realize that you're normal, that this is an actual experience. There's some actual physical, physiological reasons to explain it, so you're not crazy. Um, and then you really need to lean into using your anxiety management um, skills and techniques, right? So this includes really being aware that don't fight it, right? Like don't get freaked out that, oh my gosh, here we go again, got all this anxiety, oh my gosh. Just recognize like, yep, the morning is gonna sometimes be hard for me with anxiety. So one of the things that is really helpful to think about is getting your system to shift into a different state, okay? And there are a few ways to do that. For some people starting out with some mindfulness, some anxiety management, um, mindfulness exercises is a great way to start the day. I know a lot of people start the day with yoga. That is a great way to start the day and reset your body. Um, also, just being able to take time to sit and have a quiet a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, be cautious about anxiety ramping up your, uh, your about uh, caffeine ramping up your anxiety, but you know, just sitting quietly, having a morning cup of coffee, tea, some breakfast, whatever you do in the morning, right? Just kind of sitting quietly. Be aware that the, the sooner and the more intensely you bring in all the stuff from the world, you're scrolling the social media feed, right? You're looking at all the anxiety provoking um, news headlines, all of that is going to ramp up your anxiety. So be really aware of what you're feeding your body first thing in the morning, what you're feeding your mind and your emotions first thing in the morning. Feed it things that are going to help it be in a calmer space, right? So whether that's you start with some nice meditations, some reflections, or you just sit on your back porch and you look out at the trees, right? Also exercise. So after you kind of wake up, morning is a great time to exercise for many reasons. But um, yoga is a great way to start out. But also, if you can get some cardio in, that will really start to get into releasing endorphins, right? Which again, if we're talking about switching up our physiological state, exercise is a great way to do that. I know some people, if they're really struggling with it, they also just 
set aside some time for worrying, right? They go like, okay, this 10 minutes, I'm gonna have the 10 minutes of my worry time and I get 10 minutes. And when the 10 minutes is up, I move on to other things. You really do wanna move on to other things. Don't let the anxiety derail your day. Recognize you have it. There's a reason why you have it and it is going to start to subside. So the more you can move yourself to moving into other things in the day, that helps. And also for some people, it is a feeling of lack of control and overwhelm. So the more you can get your systems into place to help you manage overwhelm, whatever that system is that works for you, that will really help to make the day feel less overwhelming and less paralyzing. So listen, I threw a lot of things at you that you can do, right? And some of these you may know how to do, and some of them you may really need some help. You know, you may need to want to work with a professional that can help you figure out what strategies you need to bring in, how to do those strategies, how to do those skills and what will work for you. And nothing works all the time, P.S. So we need a kind of a variety of things that we can pull, that we can pull in to um, our experience with anxiety that will help on, you know, at any given time. So I hope that this was helpful. Um, if it is, please, please share this and give this video a like. I would also love for you to subscribe, be a part of my community here. I would love to have you be a part of my community. If you subscribe, hit the bell so you make sure you get notified of videos when they come out. I usually try to put new videos out on Mondays. I don't always make that mark, but that's what I try. And if you'd like to know more about me, you can find out more about me um, in the description of this video down below. There is a link to my website, which is Resilient Life therapy and you can find out more about me and if you would like to chat with me about whether or not we might be able to work together you can find out more on my website about um, which states I'm able to see clients in and how to get hold of me. All right guys have a great day and really you know think about how to structure your morning so you get that physiological response calmed down and you get your emotions shifted to a different place. All right, take care, bye.